What's poppin' G-Nice? Gideon back here with another edition of our Getting Ready for League play here in Call of Duty Vanguard. Uh, today we're going to go over the Automaton. Uh, this is the build that I personally use, but this is the gun that you will see most of the pros actually run with uh, since Vital on the STG is banned and stuff like that. Uh, this gun has great strengths. It also has one small downfall. Maybe two. Its main strength is going to be its accuracy and its recoil control. This thing literally beams. Main problem, though, is it takes a little bit more bullets to be able to get through somebody. We're looking at 22 damage for just a body shot. Uh, so you're looking at five bullets to kill somebody. Uh, that's quite a bit more, considering you know, my gun of preference right now is the NZ41. And it'll do it in three. However, this does have a higher rate of fire. Uh, so let's go ahead and go over the attachments real quick. For the muzzle, we have a cord muzzle brake. This is just going to improve basic accuracy. No drawbacks, just accuracy. Pull it up a little bit. Uh, barrel, Anastasia Sniper. So this is going to give us greater velocity, better range. This is going to allow us to hit ridiculous, ridiculous shots with accuracy. Slate Reflector as normal. Preferred optic, just beautiful. Uh, Zach Stelton Stock. So the Zack Skeletal stock is there to get us to be able to move a little bit better. Um, it does hurt your sprint to fire time, but it does help with that initial recoil and accuracy, obviously. However, uh, we do make up sprint to fire time later on, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, proficiency, we're looking at sleight of hand. Uh, you can run tight grip if you want, if you have a hard time controlling this recoil, which honestly you shouldn't. Uh, but if you do, that's another option. Uh, sleight of hand, mainly because these are only 25 round mags. 25 round mags, you're going to blow through ammo really fast, especially how fast this uh, weapon fires. You'll get maybe two kills out of it before you have to reload. A third if they're already weak. So we want to be able to reload real quick and on the move. Uh, we're going to go on hand for using the grenades uh, just to get back in that that motion, that sweeping, just ready to ready to shoot again. Uh, rear grip, we're looking at stippled. So this is going to give us more initial recoil and accuracy. Uh, and it's also going to allow us to be able to bring our recoil back to us. Like I said, this thing is going to beam. No worries about that. That's what we built it for. As you'll notice, this is probably the first, uh, first of the assault rifle subs, anything like that, that I'm really going to run FMJ on. The reason for that is the Anastasia barrel has already increased our velocity to a very, very high amount. Uh, let's actually go ahead and look at that real quick. So with the Anastasia barrel, we are now looking at a bullet velocity of over 1,200 meters per second. There's no real reason to run lengthened on top of that. All right, under barrel, we're looking at M3 ready grip. This is going to give us a little bit of that sprint to fire time back. We're going to suffer a little bit of recoil control. But that's no biggie. We have plenty. Uh, also helps with a little bit of aim down sight. Yeah. Get up and moving quickly. All right. Now let's get into the gameplay. All righty. Real quick, just wanted to show you the greatest strength of this build with the automaton. And that's going to be your recoil control. Uh, so this gun with this basic setup already has an astronomical amount of recoil control. Uh, even a distance. So right now we're looking at about 20, 21 feet. This is going to be not trying to control the recoil at all. This goes up a little bit. Now let's see what happens if we try to pull down on the stick just slightly. Look at that easy cluster right there. This gun's so ridiculously easy to control, guys, and that's its major strength. Search and destroy. Hold the objective. Time to get lean and mean. Enemies got the bomb.
just a few talking points real quick. I'm not actually going to go through a detailed playthrough, play-by-play uh, -play like I have in the past. Uh, this one's going to be more of just kind of sit down and enjoy the gameplay. On the side note, I did want to let you know that this class is meant to sit there and watch a line of sight. It's not meant for run and gun play, which is my preferred play style. Uh, that's the way that I'm going to play it. And you'll see that throughout the video, so I hope you enjoy. I can't wait. Enemy moving with the bomb. Also, fair warning, the audio on several parts of this does cut out. That is nothing to do with the actual video itself. The team on the other side was having a massive argument with itself. So, uh, we don't want to hear that. And I forgot to mute everybody. I apologize. What the hell was going on over there? They're fighting amongst their own team. <laughs> Oh, I have very bad pack of loss right now. I love how his dog goes is a monkey. <laughs> Hope you like a little challenge. Why is half his name on the Uzi Maki coming from Naruto, dude? Let me speak on that. He Wish really I knew. Where are he from? You can't say. Eliminate the objective. Time to get lean and mean. We're moving with the bomb. This game is shit, shit. This game is shit. This game is shit. This game is shit. Really not catching up with that one. This is your time to shine. The bomb is out. Me either with this damn ping. Jesus Christ. Allies are 
So you got two on B, two middle buildings. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Man's is still going on. I like you want to die just here for the action. Hold the objective. Just turn into the most toxic search and destroy it ever now. <laughs> Just a little bit. I ain't never seen a search and destroy game this get this toxic before. That's with the other team arguing with each other. I can't even run into it. Okay, yeah. Oh, my shoe for real. Alright, oh, why are you calling me Big Dago? That's what I thought. What's my name? If you found this gun breakdown useful, or even the gameplay just enjoyable, how about you drop us a like, perhaps a comment, you know? Hey, actually, yeah. What uh, What's your favorite build right now here in Vanguard? What are you running on a daily? And if you want more content like this, drop us a subscribe and become one of the G-Knights. Again, this has been Gideon, and y'all have yourselves a wonderful day.